The cardiac diet, as the name suggests, is often prescribed for patients who have a history of heart-related problems slash diseases. The cardiac diet is a healthy eating plan prepared to counter diseases such as high blood pressure, obesity, heart attack, and so on. Even if a person does not suffer from a heart condition, it is still advisable to follow this diet as a preventative measure. Now that we've talked about what a cardiac diet is, let's now talk about what foods are included in this diet. Things like leafy green vegetables, nuts, seeds, fish, milk products, avocado, and olives are all good examples of foods that you should eat. These types of foods contain good fat, or in scientific terms, polyunsaturated slash monounsaturated fats. Now let's talk about fats that you should stay away from. Things like Wendy's Frosties, the Baconator, bacon egg and cheese sandwich from Bagel Factory, coconut oil, packaged food items that are fried, butter, and cheese all contain bad fats known as trans and saturated fats. If on a cardiac diet, these foods cannot be eaten. Other foods that should be eaten are foods high in fiber. These include fresh fruits and vegetables such as blueberries, carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower, legumes, prunes, nuts, seeds, and whole grains. Fiber-rich foods also reduce the levels of LDL, or bad cholesterol, and increase the levels of HDL, the good cholesterol. They also help to improve digestion and prevent constipation. Now let's go over some steps that will help you enhance your cardiac diet. Regular exercise is a must to make any dietary plan successful. Reduce the intake of salt in your food. This may seem like a difficult task initially, but after a while, our taste buds will get used to this constructive change. Controlling portion intake will enable you to control your weight and pave the way for a healthy heart as well. Reducing stress is another very vital aspect of keeping your heart healthy. It has been noted that stress and anxiety are sure factors that lead towards heart trouble. Therefore, you should make a conscious effort to reduce stress in your lives. Switching to healthy living by making small but effective changes. For example, use olive oil instead of canola oil. You should also switch from eating lean meats with reduced fat content. You should switch to using low fat or skim milk instead of whole milk or cream. Learn to read food labels and buy what is best for your heart. And lastly, you should consult a professional medical practitioner. He or she will be able to give you a comprehensive understanding of your current health status. They will be able to guide you along the way by suggesting an effective diet plan and fitness regimen to suit your individual situation.